Oh, hello there. Good morning. Just inquiring, actually, um, how much is the going rate for the CBT test currently? Eighty pounds, sir. And I just want to make sure as well. It is from sixteen, isn't it? From the age of sixteen. And yes, it is. Brilliant. Okay, I do. That's all I needed to know. Thank you very much. No problem. Ideal. That's a good thing to know. Right. Let's head to work. Loretta, I'm off now. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, no worries, Jack. Have a great day, babe. Make sure you don't get my car dirty when you walk past. Your car is perfectly fine. There's not an ounce of dirt on it. Stop being so ridiculous. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> I wonder if Travaskis will be allowed out to play today. Don't know. Mrs. Travaskis still isn't very happy with him. But he has bit the bullet. Oh, he's actually there, look. And Terry's there. I don't know who else that is there as well. I wonder. Let's park this up and we'll go and say hello. Yeah, she's not been too happy, Mrs. Travaskis. She's a bit of a beast when she wants to be. She is quite scary. Right. Well, it's a bit of a rubbish thing, but I'll tell you what, the brakes work good. I've got some parts with me today, actually. I'm going to get Terry to give that a bit of a service. Yeah. I've not bought anything cheap. I've bought really good parts. And I have a bit of a plan with that. I do have a bit of a plan with that. Because, actually, I'm not really going to be needing it for much longer. Terry did such a good job. He saved us an absolute fortune with the class just just fixing that just in the the sheer labor costs but also just the fact that i managed to return two-thirds of what we bought and i paid a few grand just for a turbo which it didn't even need it might need it eventually i suppose but yeah he did great so we need to reward him and that's all part of my plan anyway <laughs> what are these doing has he finally sold it has he finally sold it Ah, oh, bloody hell, my handsome. 800 pound, I said. Stop trying to get it bloody cheaper, not car boot sale. Christ. Oh, my God. You don't bloody listen to me. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do it 7.50 and a bloody pasty. Oh, Mr. Travaskis, can I have a pasty as well? All right, then, my handsome. 750 and two bloody pasties. Wait. Don't forget me. Oh 
my Christ! Right, deal change. 750 and three bloody great pasties. You got that, my handsome? Then we got a bloody deal. Alright then, my handsome. Well, you bugger off up to that bloody bakery before they sell those buggers out. Make sure you get me a hot, flaky steak. And I'll go get this bloody paperwork ready for you, my handsome. Have you finally sold it? What do you mean, finally bloody sold it? It's only been there a little while. It's been there like three months, man. We're in May now. God, I'm pretty sure it's Christmas time that you first put that there. Oh, wow. Not everything happens instantly, you cheeky bugger. Yeah, alright. Well, I hope you're giving Terry more than just a pasty for what he did. Oh, don't be so daft. Bloody well and pasty, that is my answer. Christ. Um, yeah. I'm happy with the pasty, but Mr. Travascus, I don't want a really hot one, I might burn my mouth. <laughs> we'll make sure that Travascus, you can have the hottest one. The flaky steak, that's all yours. I'd be glad to get rid of this, I'd be glad to see it gone. It's hiding away my beautiful Zeta. Aye, you didn't bloody mind me having it here though, did you, for a while, my answer? No, well, of course I don't mind. I'm only joking with you. At least you sold it. You made a bit of money on it, didn't you? I'm sure you said you only paid like four or five hundred quid for it. So, you've made money, but don't forget that is Terry. Terry has helped you make that bit of profit. You better not forget that. Oh, I know my handsome. He's a good boy, isn't he? He is a good boy. Oh, thanks, Mr. Travaskas. <laughs> Those two are ridiculous. Those two are ridiculous. Right, well... He's sorting out his tractor and stuff. Let's leave him to it. Today, we've got to get on with some weeding. I've kind of, I've neglected the first main field. And it, it's just been so busy, to be honest. Without Javaskis here, without him being allowed to come out, I mean, I've had to look after the cows. I've had to keep an eye on Terry. Try and train him a little bit, really, around how the kind of cows work. But it's taken up so much time, you know. If it wasn't for Travascus, I probably wouldn't have cows. And when he's not here, he escaped again. Look. See, they were pretty good, you know, when Travascus was in there. He's come back and now they're starting to wander around again. <laughs> but yeah, if it wasn't for Travascus, th this, well, this barn would be here, of course, but I wouldn't have cows in it, I don't feel. I don't feel that's my kind of thing and there's just far too much going on, really. But there you go. Yeah, weeds. And the weeds have got so large now, it's just going to have to be sprayed. There's no other option. If I caught it in time, I might have been able to kind of hoe them out, rent a little bit of cheap equipment, probably take them out while they were small. But yeah, it's, it's going to have to be herbicide. I'm going to have to order another IBC for it as well, actually, because I never did bring that over from Bally Spring and Ireland with us. We, we didn't bother. The, the transport cost wouldn't have been worth it, to be honest with you. I don't know. Right, well, I'm going to have to organise that. And once Terry's finished sorting out the tractor with Travascus and we're all sat down eating our pasties, I'll go through some bits with him. But definitely, I want him to look after that bike. And he may not know it yet, but it's actually for his own benefit. We're going to have to get this up and running and warmed up soon, you know. In the next month or so, we're going to need to use that. And we haven't used that for a long time. In fact, I've not even used it over here. Since we've been here, over in England, I don't even know. I've barely started it, only to shuffle it around a bit. So I might get Terry to have a little look at that as well, maybe. Now, I will say, it's fantastic to have the class back and running. Especially with the front loader. It makes such a big difference. We've managed to tidy up the, the bales, the Terry mess. And uh, these guys are doing alright. They're doing alright. Terry's looking after them. He's named the two small ones, apparently. I don't know what he's called them. But obviously the uh, the other two were named already. He can't do anything about their names. But I do wonder what he's called them. That will be interesting. And this area is looking pretty good now, actually. So he kind of stripped the the old combine harvester there. Really old class one, I think. But it was, it was awful. It was just falling apart. It, the rust on it was so bad. So the majority of it didn't actually make us any money, just went to the scrap man. 
but we did at least manage to get them to pick up the rest of the rubbish as part of the deal, so that's amazing. And then, yeah, it's just wonderful to have a place to put our silage bales. So much tidier. And hopefully they're protected from both Travascus and Terry from knocking them over and damaging them anymore. <laughs> I do hope so, anyway. Right, one thing I know for sure, I know Travascus is hanging around today, but I do need to make sure the cows are alright, and I think they are. They're getting pretty low on silage. They do also look like they need a little bit of straw. We have got a couple of bales left, but I think I'm just going to... Maybe I'll top them up properly, make sure they're good, and then that will give Travascus a little bit of a, a breeder. He can wean his way back into it properly. We'll have to catch up with him as well and uh, find out what the situation is with Mrs. Travascus. Right, this does need a clean. Okay, right. There is just about enough room to manoeuvre in here. It is quite tight. I need to get Terry trained up really on driving the class. I mean, if anything, it's easier than what he had before because it's all automatic. But yeah, it would be handy if he could drive this. Because I would, long term, I would love to get him involved with helping out with some field work. I think it would be great for him, great for his learning, and it's just going to make things easier for me. It's quite an asset, is Terry. He's very much an asset. He is certainly worth keeping out of the farm that is for sure now let's lower that down and we'll reverse on out get another one I reckon they'll want a couple of bales and then I'll run in in a moment and just uh, get them spread out distributed it evenly if I can All right, let's grab one more do you know what let's stick two more bales in I reckon we can do that Ooh, the class does struggle a little bit with the weight though. So Loretta's loving her new car, which is good, keeping her happy. It's also meant that I haven't been roped into doing any school runs for a little while, so I'm happy with that. I have been pretty tired though, there's just so much going on in this farm at the minute. Right, can we get in there? Come on. Right, let's just drop those down shot off the class for a minute. We'll start to get these bales undone now. Wonderful. Right, so that's that sorted for a minute. I will just pop around though. And we'll get one of those straw bales. God, it's so much nicer. Not having that, those skips there, having that harvester gone, it just gives me a lot more room to manoeuvre. Which is brilliant. And now that this is running pretty good, I should get the bucket reconnected and try and level out this bit of ground. It's definitely something that needs to be done, but it's just, just one of the many things on the, the ever-growing list. Just can't get anything done. Right, let's get up here. Oh, there's Terry over there. Right, I'll tell you what, let's drop this down. We'll go have a chat with Terry. I don't know where Travaskis is. Morning, Terry. Oh, hello, Mr. Pemperfy. How are you today? You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. A bit tired. What do you mean you're tired? Oh, well, I was, uh, I was up late last night playing this new game. It's like it's like a driving game with lots of mud. Oh, interesting. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like my kind of game. Yeah, it is very fun. Good. Uh, Terry, today, I want you, if you can, please, buddy, to... Give this a really good going over, and I mean a really good going over. Clean everything, try and take all the filters out, change everything, all the oil. Maybe even stick some brand new fuel in it. J just make it running absolutely sweet for me, because I'm not going to need it soon. I, I am looking at another bike, a, kind of a proper bike. So I just don't need this very soon. So I just want you to help me make sure it's absolutely perfect for the next owner. Is that alright? You don't mind? Oh, okay, Mr. Pemperfy. Just just make it as absolutely as perfect as you can for me, yeah? Just so the new owner gets as much out of it as possible, yeah? Okay. No problem. Good man. Ideal. Right. <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm planning. Bless him. 
He is pretty sweet and innocent, isn't he, old Terry? Or young Terry, I should say. Definitely sweet and innocent. He won't be for much longer, though. With this little kind of weird partnership with Javaskis, they seem to be growing. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be sweet and innocent forever. Anyway, he's over there in the distance, look. Bargaining his pasty payments. Let's get this straw done before he comes. Alright, okay. I think I'm just going to leave this here. It's a little bit easier to chop up and spread the straw out when it's off the ground ever so slightly. So we will do that in a second. Definitely. I could, in fact, clean the class while I'm here, couldn't I, with this fancy new pressure washer that Travaskis had fitted. Although I don't think the cows would appreciate being sprayed with muddy water. Yeah, maybe I won't do that. That's not great, is it? Now, I'm sure I just heard Travaskis talking to himself. Travaskis? Oh, hello, my handsome. How are you? All right? Yeah, I'm bloody good. Bloody good, my handsome. How's uh, Mrs. Travaskis? Oh, my God. That bloody woman is a beast. Christ. <laughs> is that why you're being such a good boy? I'm surprised you've been let out today. Oh, yeah. She's been nice to me today, my handsome. Bloody hell. How come your beard hasn't grown back anyway? You need to grow this beard back. It's freaking me out, man. Ah, oh, she bloody loves it, don't she? Bloody loves it. What, who does? Mrs. Travaskis? Oh, yeah, she don't bloody stop touching my face. Christ, it's doing my head in. Well, just, <laughs> just grow it back then. She won't bloody let me. She bloody locks me in the bathroom every bloody morning, so I retrim it. <laughs> You do not wear the trousers in your house, do you? Oh, yes, I bloody do. I just do it to keep her happy. <laughs> you don't. You do it just so that you don't get in more trouble. Oh, maybe my handsome. Don't bloody tell Terry. Christ, I want him to think I'm a bloody good man. <laughs> you are. You're, you're a special man. That is definite. Oh, brilliant. Did you get your pasties? Oh, yes, my handsome. Three bloody great pasties. Oh, they smell bloody gorgeous. Oh, my God. They do smell pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie. Uh, just remember, Terry doesn't want it to be too hot. We don't want him to burn his mouth and go off sick. Oh, bloody hell, I know my handsome. Christ, you bloody burn his mouth. He won't be up playing his bloody SNES games, will he? Um, yeah, that, that's very true. That is very true. Anyway, it's, it's great to... It's great to have you back, actually. I have missed you. I'm not going to lie. But we've done a good job looking after the cows. Terry has done a good job, in all fairness. Yeah, I've just given them some more silage. We've spread that out already. And I've got a straw bale there ready to go. Because actually, it doesn't look like they've got a lot of bedding on the ground. There is a little bit, but... Yeah, needs uh, needs to be replenished, I think. He's, he's mucked it out. But he has been really good. You, you should give him something more than a pasty. I'm just saying. Oh, bloody hell. All right. I'll give him a bloody tenner or something. <laughs> you need to give him more than a tenner. He's 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 helped you make like 300 quid on that tractor. The tractor which wouldn't even start, by the way. And you've just sold it for nearly £300 more than you paid for it. You, you need to give him something. You should give him half. Oh, my God. I'm not bloody giving him half. Christ, can you imagine a bloody 16-year-old with £150? Oh, my God. £150 is not that much money. Oh, bloody hell, when I was 16, I used to make about 20 pence. Well, yeah, but that was in, like, the 1800s. Oh, you cheeky old sod. <laughs> you, I'm just saying, you, you should give him half that amount. But anyway, I've, I've got something planned for him anyway. Just to kind of thank thank him for fixing the class, to be fair, because he is a real asset, you know. We need to look after him. Oh, I know. I got some bloody big plans with him. Christ, bloody moneymaker he is, isn't he? Bloody hell. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Nothing in my answer. Hmm. I feel like you're up to something. Here, thanks for letting me use that bloody space out the front, by the way. Perfect spot for selling bloody cars and tractors, that is. Oh, perfect. 
oh that's alright if it helped you out I mean you wouldn't sell it from anywhere else would you really you ain't going to get much traffic inside the farm oh no bloody perfect that is you don't mind me using it did you uh, no, I didn't mind it. Not at all. Oh, bloody good, I remember that. What do you mean you remember that? Oh, nothing, my answer. He's up to something. You are up to something. Anyway, right, I'm going to sort this straw out. You get those pasties sorted out. Make sure you call Terry's down. And then we'll come sit down and have a, have a proper catch-up and we'll have a pasty. Oh, that sounds bloody handsome. Good. Right. <laughs> but it certainly is fun to have him back. I'm not going to lie. Right. Let's spread some of this out. Yeah. Let's get on with this. How the bloody hell are you so good at chess? Um. I don't know. I play a lot on my computer. Oh my god. That bloody computer. That's all you bloody talk about. Well, yeah, but it makes me better than you at chess. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Terry. Good one. I tell you what, my handsome. You bloody beat me again and I'm taking that pasty back. Oh, but I bet half of it. I don't bloody care. Pasty's a pasty. I'll still bloody eat it. Oh, okay. All right, I'll let you win. Oh, don't bloody let me win. I can beat you anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Right, wow, it was nice to have a pasty, but we've got things to get on with. We have got things to get on with. Now, I'm going to keep the front loader on, I think, just as a bit of a counterweight. But I am going to jump out and just take the bale spikes off, because they kind of look quite lethal, to be honest. So let's just drop that down. Right, now actually, I've not ordered an IBC, but I'm kind of hopeful, because... It does look like there is a little bit in the bottom of this. Alright, if we can get that, PTO should go on. There we go. And yeah, it does look like... Wow. Not not quite half a tank, but there's definitely some in there. Yeah, I can, I can kind of see the fluid level in there. It's not quite half, but... Well, let's see how it goes. They're not the biggest fields in the world, are they? In fact... We only have to do two of the three fields because one of them was kind of pre-ploughed and treated quite nicely before we got hold of it. So that one's good. That one is not bad at all. And I checked on it, it didn't have a single weed in it. But the other two we did, or one field with a road in between, I guess I should say, that does need a bit of weed killer for definite. But it's nowhere near the size of the field we had in Valley Spring. That second field that we got, we got quite cheap from Travaskis, my granddad's old one. That was absolutely massive field. Absolutely huge it was. Now, I really do need to get these bloody muddy puddles sorted out. All these things, now that the class is fixed, it's fantastic news. The class is fixed. We've got a good tractor with a good front loader back. And it's just added about eight more things to the list now because I've got to move all those stones. I've got to get rid of all of these puddles. I also need to sell those silage bales there in the mirror. Yeah. Although at least they're ready to go now. I don't know. It's never ending. It's just never ending. I wish Terry was 18 and he could start driving tractors on the road. That was better. Do you know, I don't know what the law is on that. Maybe you can anyway. I'll have to look into it. Right, go on, let's get on with this. Right, here we are. Here we are. Yes, some of these are big. Look at them. Some of these are really, really big. Let's just jump out and have a look a minute. Keep it running. Sounded lovely now as well, isn't it? Well done, Terry. Yeah. They, they need spraying. There's no way around it. They need spraying. Now, the big downside is, of course, I didn't put any kind of tram lines in when I seeded it. I just got straight on with the seeding. Now, I've managed to save a bit by getting the class out here doing the job. That does have much, much smaller tyres than that Vultra. But we are going to crush a bit of this crop. Hopefully the majority of it will pop back up. I don't know. I'm not so sure. We're, we're going to lose a little bit of crop. But it is, what it, 
it is what it is, isn't it? It's my fault for not being prepared. Not having it all ready to go. But then actually it's Javaskis' fault for getting loads of cows and then doing a runner because he's scared of his misses. I don't know. Right, well we need to get on with this anyway. i just got to try and hope I don't do too much damage. Now, let's just open up this because it's been such a long time since I've used it. I can't actually remember how wide it is. It's not actually too bad, is it? It's not too bad. It needs a clean. It's absolutely filthy. Okay. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but it will have to do. It will have to do. Alright, wow. Oh, I just feel like it pains me. It pains me to just run over crop like this. But what am I going to do? Right, let's get it started up. Wonderful. Let's go for it. Oh no. I can hear the crop crushing underneath me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wow. Hopefully what we're losing in crop we're making up for in better soil quality and less weeds. I hope so anyway. I hope so. While it's not a great feeling crushing up crops, it's actually quite an awful feeling to be honest, but I feel like it needed it. I feel like that little bit of crop that we've lost is probably better than losing a lot more because the weeds have taken over. And I mean look at them, some of them were massive. It could take over the whole field if I wasn't careful, so it had to be done. But this time next year I I need to have done it already. I need to be far more organised just wasn't good enough really. Chavascus needs to stay out of trouble. Yeah, it's devastating just to, to drive over it like that. It really is. But it could be worse. These are quite thin tyres. Imagine doing it in the Vultra. <laughs> we wouldn't have any field left. The whole thing would be gone. That would not be good. But anyway, you've got the majority. There's a, there's a couple that I've missed, but actually because the majority is gone, I mean you can see that that stuff must be strong, you know, so quickly it's killed it. Yeah, it had to be done, it had to be done. And the other field, well, we'll take a little stroll, but honestly, that it looks absolutely fantastic. It just shows that it's worth putting the effort in prior, doesn't it? Doing your field prep, whatever company it was, or whoever it was that was planning on leasing that field before we got involved, Put a lot of effort into getting it right before it was planted and you wait and see how lush this field looks absolutely wonderful I'm sure it gets further and further away every time I look look at it not a weed in sight not a tram line that's got to be made no crushed crops just perfect I can't wait to see how this one yields once we get that harvester up and running. Probably only a couple of months away now from 
kind of having everything ready to go. It is coming along nicely. It's growing. That is for definite. And I'll tell you what, actually, from here, it doesn't look like I did too bad of a job. No. At least I kept it relatively straight. Yeah. That would have been embarrassing else, wouldn't it? Alright, let's head back to the class. Let's see what's going on back at the yard. Job well done. Definitely. And it's only sort of mid-afternoon. We're getting on alright today. It's pretty much emptied the tank now, though. So next time round, we'll definitely need to get some herbicide. To be honest, I am wondering. Now that I've made the tram lines, maybe I could just go over those exact same tram lines again with fertiliser. Might as well. It makes sense, really. I'll have to get on the phone to the shop. See if I can get a, a tank of each, maybe, delivered. Yeah, whilst we've got some money spare. And get one tank of each delivered. That that would do us well, I reckon. Okay, right. Better turn that off. I don't want to get my fingers trapped in that PTO. Right, let's get this disconnected. Right, lovely, that's done. I think, to be honest, we can just leave that there for a minute. Oh, there's the space. There's the space. Zeta is fully on show again now, isn't it? You better get rid of that for sale sign. I'll go tell him he needs to get rid of it. Alright, let's see what they're up to. What are they talking about? Afternoon, gentlemen. Oh, bloody hell, I had some stories here now. Stop bloody talking about it. You alright? Anything I'm missing? Anything interesting going on? Oh, no, bloody hell, I had some. All good. Oh, Mr. Pemperfy, I've done a really good job. This this moped's all good. I put all of those parts on you bought, changed all the oil. It's, it's running really nice now. Yeah, I hope the new person who owns it's going to like it. Oh, they're going to love it. They don't know who it is yet, but they're going to love it, Terry. They're going to absolutely love it. Here, I was just curious, what colour would you... If, if this was yours, what colour would you like it to be? Oh, I think the colour it is is absolutely lovely. Do you? Light blue. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it's just a shame. I, I tried to clean it, but it's all rusty and a bit horrible. Yeah, that is a shame, isn't it? It's going to devalue the bike a little bit. Anyway, what was you two just talking about? Oh, we're not bloody talking about nothing, my handsome. Hmm... Um, you need to go out there and remove that for sale sign as well. Because it's just kind of pointless and I don't want people thinking that the Zeta's for sale. Oh, alright my handsome, don't worry, I'll get it sorted. I'll get that covered up. What do you mean covered up? No, you just need to remove it. Oh yeah, yeah that's what I meant my handsome. Hmm, okay. Alright then, well, good job for the day. Um, actually, do you know what? With you being back, Travaskis... I think we're kind of on top of things, and for a change, it's, it's been a long time, but we can actually finish up early today, so I reckon we can all shoot off home and uh, have an early afternoon. Ah, oh, you bloody carry on. Me and Terry, we got something planned. We got stuff to do this afternoon. Um, okay. Alright then. Well, in that case, I'll leave you to it, and I'll see you... Well, I'll see you in the week at some point, I guess. Yeah, all right, my handsome. Have a lovely bloody afternoon with them lovely bloody twins. All right, then. All right, well, see you in a bit. <laughs>